I've had a couple questions on the channel, which is understandable for me doing experiments with using a lot of Tim Pool pictures and references and titles and stuff for different types of videos. So let me explain the, the well, the question here, I got a lot of them, but here's one on X. Starry says, uh, stuck in the mid, why? Why all the Tim Pool videos? It makes you appear as a sucker fish on a shark or a whale. It diminishes you. And I appreciate you for reaching out. I am following Starry. Thank you for that reply. Um, that shot, you know, basically question, respectful question. And I agree. The it, Doing an influx of Tim Pool, I put Daily Y in there, but I haven't done as much with them. Uh, Tim Pool videos is pathetic um, in a way. I, do, I agree. And diminishing, absolutely. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make, though. At least try. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm still experimenting. I will only, but here's my boundaries, though, that are non-negotiable. I will only cover topics I'm passionate about in a manner that's authentic that I really believe in, period. Meaning I'm not going to give a take just to give a take. That, uh, you know, just to give a take or to get views because of the take. No. I, what I'm going to do is cover topics I care about and give my authentic, I can't even do this if, if I'm not doing that, authentic take on it and then go from there. That Those are the non-negotiable ones. Uh, but if a topic, if, if those things happen and I do a video and it gets a lot of views, I'm going to drill in and continue to cover it. I don't care what it is. As long as, it, as long as I'm passionate about it and I'm covering it in a manner that I truly believe that's my honest opinion. I wish other topics and I wish it wasn't that way for me to get views, but that's what it is. Um, I don't have much control over it. It's not all YouTube. It's, there's a lot of factors in there. So I'm going to talk about YouTube here. I'm going to talk about the First Amendment, but there's a lot of factors. It's maybe the thumbnails are better on the, the Tim Pool ones for whatever reason. Maybe my, my voice is better. I know maybe my presentation's better or I don't, I don't know. There's, you know. There's a lot of different things that could play a factor in that other than YouTube, but YouTube plays a factor. If you look at these graphs, the peaks in the graphs are when I did an influx of T Tim Pool videos. I got 15,000 views in, I don't know what the even the time frame is on that. I, it peaked at 15,000 views. I stopped doing Tim Pool videos. It crashed down to 5,000, and then I did a couple other ones that did all right. Then I did some more Tim Pool just to see, and then it rose up, and then I stopped again, and then it crashed down to basically no views at all. It's, it went from 15,000 views to no views at all. I did a, so what I did is I recorded a, I listened to the Tim Pool un, after show, the uncensored show. I just did a recording of the whole thing, and then I chopped up eight minutes of it and released them. Those that chopping that up and releasing them got t about 10,000 views is what my, I think my estimate is on that. I, I do videos that don't get 100 views, period, much less 4,000 or 2,000. It's a topic I am passionate about, and it happened. So that so these videos um, are important to the channel. I wish other topics got more views, but that's not what's happening for me, at least. Uh those videos got 10 to 40 times the viewership as, uh, that a normal video does. Another thing some people might not realize is your subscribers don't mean anything the way that they've set YouTube up. I mean, it, does, it means literally nothing. You could have, um, you could have no subscribers and get a, a video that gets a million views. You could have a million subscribers and get no views. Depends on the subject matter or a lot of different factors, but the subscription doesn't matter. It can matter if people have notifications on and you do a video and they get a no notification, you'll get a few more views right away. But at the end of the day, if you want to break out of where you're at, you've YouTube is the one that chooses that. It's viewer retention, it's all that, but it's not it's not subscribers. So don't even look at a channel's subscribers and think that that not on YouTube, it doesn't mean anything. Every time, every time I make a decision to not do a Tim Pool set, centric video, at least they people it looks like people like the drama part of it. You stop the momentum, 
every single time. So I so what I'm doing right now is looking to see if there's other videos I can get momentum with. And I'll just have to, there's other topics that I just have to cover and maybe I'll just put them on another channel or you can release them without notifications and I, I don't think that will hurt the momentum. But this is why the First Amendment matters. I'm a small channel, I'm not making any significant money. I am monetized again, but um, it's not significant money, but it does pay for the AI subscriptions. That's what I'm really concerned about. And just to even do the channel, it takes time. If YouTube didn't have 100% control of reach, they have 100% control. Once you just record the video, upload it, it's out of your hands at that point. So they have a, that's what I mean by 100% control of reach. Things would be different if they didn't do that. If people had control, then that would be different. Then subscribers would mean something. Uh, if I do a video on the sunflower country, it's not going anywhere for me. It's just not. Now, what you could do, so no views equal no channel. What you could do is do, you could try to do, I could try to do a video on Tim Pool talking about the Sunflower Country. And I guarantee you that would do better. I don't know how well it would do, but I know it would do better than just me talking about the Sunflower Country. So I would just, I would have the same takes, but I'm just reacting to Tim Pool because for whatever reason on my channel, I mean, probably could I talk about a lot. I'm a fan. Many people on the channels are fans of it, so it kind of gets that momentum going, uh, and they kind of basically have branded the channel as some type of Tim Pool channel, and that's not necessarily all YouTube's fault. I have a different channel called the Tim Pool After Show, so I knew I was going to talk about Tim Pool a bit, but I didn't want to do every video, on, not, you know, a lot of videos on Tim Pool, but, um, and I could do that on that channel, but this is the channel I really got to build up and the work to put in this channel i don't i don't have time to really do the tim pool after show the the way i would like i would need to get some income to get somebody else to or somehow have somebody do some of the editing or thumbnails and that kind of thing so i could do a 20 minute video that takes significant research and it doesn't have to be like hours of research but i could do a 20 minute video that maybe will take a you know i don't know 30 to uh, our research and it could get a hundred views or sometimes I can do a Tim Bull pool or daily wire just discussing what I'm thinking in my head as I listen to it for the first time little to new no prep and it could get 4,000 I did a Candace Owens one that got 13,000 views I don't think I had any prep at all for that one so you see the opportunity cost like why would I do a detailed video and the other part of it is you need, there's no consistency now. So I'm thinking about, okay, I can do a Tim Pool video, then I can do another video on something else. But the consistent, it, it, I know every video is not going to have the same amount of views, but to go from 4,000 to 100 is a hell of a swing. And that means I can't knowingly put the effort into research, not knowing if the video, I need to have full command on my expectation is the video will do this. It can't be 100% right, but right now I have no, I have no, under, I have no clue how, at all how good a video is going to do. Large channels like Tim Pool, um, Black Conservative Perspective, uh, is, I believe it's Gary Foreman who runs that one. Quartering, or is it Greg Foreman? My bad. I think it's Greg Foreman. Uh, uh, quartering, and I just know him as Black Conservative Perspective. Uh, quartering they they have large enough channels where they can cover whatever they want they could if they drilled in they could even increase their view you know their subscribers and views and all that but they don't really need to if they don't want to so they can cover basically whatever they want and they've got a built-in so many thousands per video and they're fine I, i'm not able to grow that way that's not applicable to me is that my fault it might be but that's the end of the day that's what's happening i will be experimenting uh rfk was doing well and i need to go back and do some rfk daily wire I haven't done a daily wire one in a while i'm still going to do some tim pool reacts i got two of them coming out this one and the other one from the pbd those are my top ones i mean if you want to know what's going on all you got to do is go to the channel and look at the views i mean it's not really complicated uh, but I, don't, I mean, I know everybody's not 
up on the inside. I guess it's kind of inside baseball, but uh, for anybody who's still listening and cares, this that's what it is. And uh, maybe if you know about YouTube and the algorithm, you could provide some tips in the comments. I'm obviously I need it. So I did a tr video on the Trump trap. Now that's too long, 17 minutes, but I was like, whatever. I, I could have chopped it up into eight minutes is the longest I really want to go. But um, I'm, this one's going to be long. This one is right now 10 minutes, so I'm going to get out quickly. Trump trap, I got 95 views. Um, I did a view on the Robert uh, Fizo, uh, what's his name? Um, F uh, Fizo, who got... Gak, gak, gak. Uh, no views, basically. 78 views. Tim Pool airs Dirty Laundry, 2,800 views. Like, that's not even, it's not even like one is 78 and the other one is 200. That's not even that much of a difference. Uh, this is YouTube telling you, like, bro, we, this is all we want from you. So I don't have to listen, but that's part of the reason. So then I did one with uh, Trump and Biden, which is a great example. I should have done somebody else talking about Trump and Biden. So I only got 122 views. If I if I did a video that said Tim Pool talking about Trump and Biden, I, I think I probably would at least got double the views on that. I, I'm pretty confident on that. Uh, so I'm experimenting him. I did a Tim Pool one here, 1,600. I did one on with Comic Dave Smith debating. I, this one didn't do as well as I thought it was going to do. Chris Cuomo, and it's another example. I thought Chris Cuomo was going to be the lead there. A lot of people don't know Comic Dave Smith, but 171. I did a yay. I clipped a simple uh, segment from the Weekly Rumble. That one's at 1K, so the, you see there's, uh, there's something else there. That one was maybe the thumbnail, all that came together. But you go through it and see these other ones, Tucker 170, Tim Pool 256, and then you keep going. Uh, you know, I did do one with the quartering 1.4, and then Tim Pool 2000, Tim Pool 1500, then Tim Pool 4000, Tim Pool 2000, and the other ones, you know, RFK, that was a bad thumbnail and all that, but RFK 79 views i mean the bad tim pool ones are doing 500 so that's i mean it's that simple i don't know what else to tell you um i'm gonna stay true to those two principles though maybe the, i need more we'll see but those two are the only principles that i've got is i have to care about the story um i have to be passionate about the story and it has to be my authentic take let me know what you think i appreciate your support middle maga